just just a kidding you and unfortunately you have just just a kidding you and and abira javasti did not uh, come and kens i think we probably had uh, uh, a yeah, 15 minute time uh, okay. extra right correct correct absolutely correct okay. so now uh, let me uh, if if uh, if you have if you have free uh, if you have time now i'll start the powerpoint uh, one of my colleague will discuss this case this is a very interesting hemodynamic uh, uh, rounds that we are going to do now uh, so start the powerpoint uh, so the first case is uh, the third, uh, seven year seven month Catch old boy uh, he was born at term with first born of third degree Catch consanguineous it. marriage Catch by normal it. vaginal delivery with a birth weight of 2.6 kg and antenatally detected to have small rv with pulmonary atresia, pulmonary atresia. on day of life one the baby was referred to triple m hospital with saturations of 65 percent yeah. 2d echo done showed hypoplastic bipartite rv with hypoplasia involving trabecular region there was intact interventricular septum with unobstructed rvot and confluent adequate size branch pulmonary arteries there was a 5 mm pfo shunting right to left with mild ph and a closing pda uh, at, there was a ductal stenting attempted at day one of life. However, it could not be done. Uh, so then later on, baby was kept on regular follow-up, maintaining saturations around 80 to 85 percent. In view of preserved anti-grade pulmonary blood flow and child remaining relatively stable, interventions were deferred. So on examination now, currently the baby has poor growth with height of 115 centimeter between third and 10 centile with a weight of 15.5 kg, which is less than third centile, saturating 85% on room air with central cyanosis, grade three clubbing, and polycythemia with hemoglobin of 15.2. The cardiovascular system examination, S1 is normal with normal split and no murmur. This is the X-ray of the child with cytosolitis, levocardia, CTR of around 50%, dilated RA and left arch. The ECG shows a normal, a normal sinus rhythm with a uh, QRS axis of zero and normal LV forces. Uh, this is the echocardiogram, which shows again there is a mild RV hypoplasia pre uh, involving the trabecular region and with adequate sized LV and mitral valve. This was the Z score. The tricuspid valve was 18 millimeter with a Z score of point minus 0 0.25 and mitral valve of 23 with a Z score of plus 1.31. This is the PFO which has been shunting bidirectionally, both left to right and right to left shunting, and measuring around 5 millimeters. This is the current, uh, the oximetry and hemodynamics which we have done now. And uh, with uh, the aortic saturation of 84.8, uh, that is 85%. There is uh, SVC and IVC, SVC is 56 point, there is no step up. And however, there is a step down of 11.5% from PV to aorta. The RA mean is 8, which is normal. And there is no gradient between RV to PA. And PA pressures are 20 by 5 with mean of 13, normal PA pressures. The So can you uh, uh, can you hear us now? Yeah, we can hear. Shiva. Yeah, we can hear. Uh, okay, okay. So the the story of this patient. Uh, show the show the PowerPoint. The last hemodynamic uh, page again. Get the PowerPoint on. Get the yeah, okay. So uh, this was this was just now done. Yeah, about uh, like ten minutes before. That was the reason why we wanted another fifteen and we requested Prashant to give the talk. The superior vena cable saturation is 61, IVC is 56, mixed venous is about 59, there is no step up at all. But there is a significant step down from 96 to 84. And as I speak, the saturation in room air for the boy in the pulse oximeter is varying between 82 to 86. The, uh, the, uh, uh, the, st the story is that it is a borderline hypoplasia of the right ventricle, borderline hypoplasia of the tricuspid valve with a tricuspid Z score of uh, I think minus 0 0.3 or minus 0 0.4 or something. So uh, the question is should this patient go for a bidirectional glenshunt plus ASD closure which means it is 
one and a half ventricle repair or should the patient go for a primary ASD closure with allowing the RA and the RV to be overhauled by the additional flow of the systemic venous. Now the systemic veins are predominantly 50% of the blood is actually going through the PFO into the left atrium and LV. Whereas if we close the ASD, we will be driving the blood from the RA to the RV. So the question is, is this RV adequate? That, that's, the, that's the question that we need to ask. So while this is going to give you uh, a lot of uh, uh, like uh, ideas to think about, quickly Pramod will show some echocardiography, live echocardiography. So show echo big, echo big. Sir, did you check yes. the RA pressure? This is the four chamber. Sir, did you check the RA pressure? Everything. Please. No, Please. I actually the, the hemodynamics was just shown a short while ago. I, I will again show the PowerPoint once again. So I'll pressure. show it once again. Yes. Okay. We are here. Yeah, we are here. RA, okay. uh, this is the echocardiography. It's a transthoracic echocardiography. This is a four apical four chamber view where we can see that the left atrium and left ventricle and a right atrium and a right ventricle. The right ventricle is actually it's tripartite only it has a inflow it has an apex and uh, it was it had an outflow that i will show here no, show, show serially yes, it's okay yes sir ah. it had an outflow also it, so it's a tripartite rv and it is definitely hypoplastic but how 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 much is the significance of its hypoplasia we are going to evaluate now this is the asd it's in a subcostal view where we can see that this is a small pfo which is uh, shunting predominantly right to left as we can see here. We did a... No, second, uh, fourth, okay. fourth okay. picture. Fourth picture. Okay. Go in order. Yes, sir. This is again the subcostal view where we can uh, see the PFO. This is the same thing with uh, predominantly right to left shunting uh, ASD. This is the tricuspid valve, which is uh, having, which is mildly thickened, but it is moving normally. And this is the contrast echo we did just now, which shows that the contrast is moving into the LA and LV, and uh, it's ha having almost equalization of contrast in the RA and in the uh, there is equalization of contrast in RA and RV and LV when we see in this. Okay. Now show the hemodynamics bit. I am just showing only the right atrial pressure at all A waves of about 10 millimeters of mercury and a mean pressure of around 7 millimeters of mercury. And what you see down 87 percent is the room air saturation at present. Now in the Did clinic when I saw the boy, the, sat the saturation after a little bit of play and activity drops down to 70. So this is where we are now. My, my, uh, uh, as, uh, so I would like to ask the panel about what you would like to do, how to, ad how to uh, approach this patient. Did you do the balloon occlusion of the ASD? Give me RA, Bobby. Do the balloon occlusion of the ASD. Okay, I'm going to do it live for you. Before that, I, I, I have no. not done it so far, I'm going to do it live, but uh, before that I just want one RV angiogram because Pramod told that there is a tripartite RV. And uh, the uh, doctor uh, Farin told that the tricuspid valve Z score was almost RAO 30, was almost like uh, minus 0 0.3. I want to get an objective, one mag, one mag, objective opinion about what is the size of this right ventricle. 15 at 15, ready? Okay. So this is the size of the right ventricle. Uh, the hemodynamic page once again, PowerPoint, show the PowerPoint once again, the hemodynamic page alone, yeah. See the aortic, uh, the uh, RA mean was around 7, the LA was also the 7, LA and PV were also 7, RV was 20 and PA was 20 by 5 with a mean of 13 and uh, aortic, aortic pressures were about 100 over 60. IOTA was desaturated to around 85 percent. Now, now as I talk to you, it is 83 percent. So I take Dr. Sushil's views that balloon occlusion should be done. What are the other person's views? I think you can, I think you should do the balloon occlusion of course, but RV does not look bad on the angiographically. Okay. Definitely it looks like 
tripod and oh it's a two dimensional view looks like the tripod is identical two dimensional view not yep. the tripod is identical no, yeah. nageshwar is asking z score trigger sutra is we, minus we know that nageshwar is asking z score trigger sutra is minus five. minus minus 4 i think no minus 0.25 a uh, minus uh, minus uh, minus 0.25 i think uh, these are the some of the cases uh, pa ivs yeah, will have chronic diastolic PA dysfunction PA so that the reason uh, yeah. they tend to have so, this so our approach is huh? okay so our approach is yeah yeah our Actually, approach is uh, to reduce the size of the ast no uh, so five millimeter okay he is uh, demonstrating pra, uh, pra, okay he is demonstrating yeah pra, 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 nageshwar it is not pa ivs it was a hypoplastic right heart syndrome Okay, okay. No, uh, I, I, I was not there. Sorry for that. I was not there. Through the RV and PA. Okay. Sorry for that. I was not there. Yeah. Okay. So right now, what we are planning to do is do possibly a small balloon occlusion. I want a 10 into uh, like 12 into 3 tie shack balloon. Twelve four. Eh? the smaller the better because we will not be occupying too much of space in the ra and la check check whether we have a 12 into 3 tie shack so to understand this is the case of so an isolated hypoplastic right heart isolated syndrome the borderline so rv right if i am correct with the with a borderline so yeah with a borderline rv and exclusively right to left shunting asd yes. with no left right shunt okay no step up yeah. no step up in the oxygen saturation from mixed vein to pa but significant step down of 14% from the pulmonary vein to aorta only right to left shunting no left right shunt get me uh, a contrast so while we are uh, doing that hemodynamics so he is doing the treatment options are interesting here a baseline cardiac cath what uh, dr shivkumar is showing that test occlusion first do the bubble contrast echo test occlusion check the rv edp and uh, uh, all other pressures uh, some uh, if it is a large defect or moderate defect reduce the size of the ast either by transcatheter or by surgical method or offloading the right ventricle by doing the glen and the closing the ast based on the hemodynamics so these are all various options but the most important thing is what he is showing demonstrating uh, the hemodynamics are essential put it on put the ra pressure big ra pressure big ra pressure big so right now what i have done is i have occluded the asd okay so is it okay. the and i am going to now so do the the pressure is uh, how how is the pressure the being pressure monitored is, uh, now is it a catheter is in rv rv is it a catheter is in rv the the sheath is in the sheath is in the inferior vena cava i'll show you the sheath now okay okay almost in okay, okay. you can see the sheath now i can see that it's yes. inferior vena cava i can see all of us should yeah. understand this uh, i want uh, i want a three way so bidirectional glen is the closure is a one and a half ventricle repair in this case but the shiva is trying to Uh, explain to us is there some other alternative so the can you actually run the ra pressure little bit to faster speed so that we can see the a and the v wave faster speed ra 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 faster speed like it is a v wave is dominant but i can't figure out maybe you are show, seeing that directly yeah yeah a wave a wave yeah a wave a yeah. wave obviously a wave only will be yeah. dominant yeah. because it's a non compliant right ventricle it's only the restrictive physiology so that a wave will be there prominent so whatever the dominant a wave you can see that uh, just prior to the qrs which is coming a wave is the dominant just on the so what we are finding is that i am not uh, uh, i am not getting an elevation of the ra pressure now i am giving contrast echo open the rv as much as possible prabhu make the echo big echo big yeah so now i am giving a contrast echo now little bit of spill over is there let me see whether i can completely occlude the pfo i 
am giving more contrast pramod yes sir one second sir get the lalv as much open as possible are there any other uh, additional perforations or anything penetration additional perforations or anything we are we are we are looking at that i am i am not getting a saturation climbing up maybe a trans esophageal is a proper good four chamber maybe a trans esophageal is a second get a get a uh, pediatric te probe with a uh, with i33 inside Okay. Yeah, we'll go for a now, yeah. it's much more vigorously filled. I, I think there is an additional defect. It's uh, a good idea what you are do, trying to do uh, a pediatric T E propanol. Let us see that the defect. Yeah. L A is filling. Okay. The, uh, uh, Prabodh, obviously, this is this is this is uh, no not first L A. Uh, first R A is filling. I'll show you. No, no, for RA to LA, LA is also filling. No, no, for RA to LA. Yeah, RA to LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. RA to LA. Correct. Yeah. So, so atrial communications are not getting obliterated by uh, this. But show, show this apical four chamber. Oh, sir. One second, sir. I'll go to subcostal and have it. Subcostal windows are good. Which is a okay. good thing now for I'm the patient, no, sir. Which is a good thing for the if patient. If all the ACs are, are not being closed, we could close one of them the in this uh, non-conventional uh, approach. Actually, re, uh, actually, Dr. Rita, I have a completely different idea. Okay. The okay. patients, this particular child is prone for, this child, this particular child is prone for prolonged hypoxia with reduced effort tolerance. Yes. Sir. Is prone for polycythemia and yes. polycythemia related complications. Is prone for paradoxical embolism. So in every patient where the right heart is reasonably able to take the load of the systemic veins, we should allow the systemic veins to go through the pulmonary artery and not allow a right left shunt. Risk of paradoxical embolism plus risk of, Pramod, uh, I yeah, have not deflated the balloon. Oh, okay, but uh, so I have gone through some other some hole. Other hole. So this is Pramod, the, what is happening is sometimes Pramod, the color, no? Whenever there is a right to left shunt, your eyes will not catch the right to left shunt. That's why if you invert the color, you will see the I shunt better in subcostal view. So want, you, uh, you put it yeah, and you put a color and invert it. Can you invert the color? Actually, now you can you can see that yeah, the, we the can see it is actually now. totally open and I have gone through some other some other Absol communication. Absolutely. Okay. So now what I will do is I will take yeah, Actually, it looks uh, bigger than inverted, 5 millimeters. You can see. Yeah, you can see that the color. So yeah, whenever I am demonstrating right to left shunt across AST, I invert the color and then see because eyes will catch is red more than the blue. It's a practical point. I don't think it's uh, recommended to do that, but uh, my approach is that. But no, no, you, you, your blue color will, with the background of a block, you cannot see properly. With the background of black, you can see red color properly. That's why invert color there if you want to demonstrate right to left. Sir, so as uh, Dr. Jairangnath was saying, Actually, the conventional Nagesh, you are, approach you are, you are talking, You are talking some... Uh, uh, yeah, conventional approach. Gen, I mean, a traditional a pediatric lens. cardiologist will immediately think about lens. one and a half ventricle repair. Yes, sir. Now, does not mean every patient whose right ventricle should be condemned as only suitable for one and a half ventricle yes, repair. Yes, I got that. So there now should be a way of analyzing. Yes, so I am saying if there are additional defects. No, now, now we have not done anything. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So no, if we, there are additional we, defects. We have to, we have to go and there properly cross. Defects. Right. Let us now try to cross it correctly. That is right atrial appendage. And again, come back. This Malin sheet is directing me away. Let me go back again to the superior vena cava. I'm coming down. Okay. Now give me that balloon, the same balloon. 
Oh, this is a non-exchange wire. So I, I want a, I want an exchange wire here. Sir, this one. Philips can be sent. That machine can be sent. That machine can be sent to operate. Which machine? Pramod, am I through that? Uh, yes, sir. I'm, I'm looking okay. into it, sir. Now we are actually across this. You are holding? Uh, because he demonstrated uh, trans uh, uh, thoracic subjified view nicely, uh, he went through another perforation. That's why uh, they are not using PE. It is fairly okay because you can see the image quality is very good. Uh, earlier we had doubt about traditional, but uh, uh, upon redoing the echocardiogram, they found it is gone through some other. So I think this is very good. There is no. Let them. Huh? So now, now the now the ASD is clearly shown. Yes. And possibly my wire is going through that. Unless you put a balloon. Unless yeah. Uh, yeah. Balloon. It's a nicely yes. seen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a yeah. nicely seen. Hold it. Hold the wire. Uh, that is true. Tysac balloon is a. That is true. Tysac yeah, balloon is a. Uh, uh, but they are yeah. inflating in such a way that but just to get the indentation, in not to dilate just that. Just to get the indentation, not to dilate that. I, ideally, you need to have the sizing balloon, but ideally 24 is going to, to be big for this. And probably 18 shortage is there. Amplager 18 shortage is there. Amplager 18 uh, by abort, which is not freely available. So the next balloon is the Tyshak only is better. Because remaining balloons are much more non compliant than Tyshak. Yeah, you are uh, across the, the so called wide foramen or small AST. The so called wide foramen or small AST. Now we will yeah. do the bubble contrast. Again? Yeah. Okay. Now we will do the bubble contrast. Yes. But, uh, but now. I am less optimistic because I know that there is possibly another orifice through which I had crossed. Now the question will be: We probably have to cross through the second orifice also. Uh, let uh, me let me why, know. Why I don't you just to do bubble uh, contrast uh, and then why, why see? Why because okay, still there, still there. Okay, still there, still there. Uh, make it little uh, darker, uh, Pramod. Yeah. I scan. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. The saturation is not increasing. Sir, can you do like uh, put a device and so just check RF pressure if suppose RF, uh, that device, uh, flanges of device Correct. may occlude because Correct. two ASDs are looking very in close to each other. In fact, in, in fact, in fact, I am, I am, in fact, I am going to do that now. The probably now that we have, uh, we, 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 this, uh, this is, uh, what is this uh, balloon size? This is uh, what is this balloon? Now, now if you put a okay. color, I Give think uh, I'm now seeing now an inferior color, where the uh, IVC is the joining. Inferior. It appears that there is a small hole. Is there? Okay. Even in Dr. the region, Dr. Shushil is telling that uh, close to SVC. There seems to be some. Shushil is telling that close to SVC. Yes, we see there is a there is a color flow, hmm. probably adjacent to the my balloon, right, Pramod? Yes, sir. So it, so it, one, it so may be possible that it is, uh, it is a sort of, uh, there are few fenestrations in that area. Yes. Yes. No. We will, we will, uh, we will, what we will do is, no. see the RA pressure is not increasing. We will just put in a, a, a 14 millimeter device and see, I am hearing the bell. Prabhu? <coughs> uh, <coughs> What is the recommended sheet for a life tech uh, 12 mm and a 14 mm? Uh, just see it and tell. How much did the RA pressure go up to after occlusion, sir? How much did the RA pressure go up to after occlusion, sir? It did not uh, go up at all. It's remaining around 6 to 7. Oh. It's not increasing at all because I am not occluding. I am not completely occluding. It remains at the same 6 to 12 continuously. Huh? And the saturations also? 9 means I have only 8 here, right? Saturations also? Saturations Saturation also? did not increase. Because also. saturation is also not increasing. So what I am going to do is do a very quick test occlusion with a device. 
and see what is the effect of the device on the RA pressure as well on the saturation. So now the uh, 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 show me the uh, uh, Prabhu get me a life tech 12 millimeter device and a 14 millimeter device. Let me design. 14 should be what is the what is the LA disc size? But uh, what is the uh, 26, is right? This is a 14. Shiva, your balloon is 10, right? Balloon is 12. Shiva, 12. 12, 12 balloon and 12, I don't 12. see any construction. 12. I don't see any construction. So, no. I am actually yes. so worried I'm, about I'm 12. It's 14. I am worried about 12 device actually. It's a, uh, that uh, whenever there is a right to left hand, your RA disc is smaller than the LA disc. Hmm. So, it acts like a foramen well. So, yeah, you I need agree. to oversize actually. You yep. cannot uh, put a 12 eight, millimeter eight, uh, because right atrial pressures are higher than I'm the left going with the 14. Right atrial pressures are higher than the left atrial pressures. I am going, going with the 14, uh, 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 Nageshwar. Yeah. yeah. So, we are uh, presuming it will close both the defects? So we are, uh, That's what we are hoping. Uh, let, actually, what we will do is, after putting the device, let us see what is the saturation. Being a very porous device, it may not close immediately, but definitely there should be an improvement in the saturation. The coordinator is uh, insisting us to stop, but we are also equally interested in the case. So that's why we requested him two more minutes. Actually, uh, he kindly agreed. Nageshwar, I have a, I have a live in the box, uh, and so I can cut down on the time there. Uh, but uh, this is uh, much more uh, challenging and interesting, uh, actually. So let's uh, do that uh, two minutes we that's have. That's right. Uh, so, let's so. Do that, uh, two minutes we have time. So now what I'm telling is I can I can cut down on that live in the box session so that we this is far more uh, uh, like thought provoking. Can we focus on the fluoro image? Sir. Fluoro, fluoro big. Get echo, uh, Pramod. So yeah, now that's a uh, nicely show rapidly echo deployed. image and uh, fluoro uh, and hemodynamic, uh, hemodynamic uh, big. I'm now looking slowly at the saturations. What is happening? RA pressure is not increasing. Show the, show the, so A wave, what was the beginning A wave and the present A wave? Present A wave? The beginning A wave and the present A wave? It's, uh, it's small, it's not very high, uh, uh, okay. Nageshwar, it's, it's looking very benign now. So the RA, can you give RA contrast uh, echo now? now so I'm, can you give contrast uh, echo now? Yeah, I'm just waiting for uh, some saturation to increase because the problem is this is a porous device. The porous device may not immediately close also. But anyhow, I'm giving the contrast now. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I think uh, what uh, Shiva is uh, planning uh, to do uh, is uh, uh, let us uh, close the defects Whatever the maximum uh, possible, we will uh, close it uh, because the saturation, uh, not saturation, the hemodynamics did not uh, increase afterwards. Probably that is what in mind uh, because the right ventricle appears reasonable. It is uh, even though borderline, the tricuspid valve is uh, uh, more than uh, 1.5. 0.25. So it's a purely a diastolic uh, dysfunction. Suppose imagine a hypothetical situation. We close it. We close the device. Then what are the consequences? The consequences may be tail may develop puffiness of face, progressively some edema and all. So anyway, in this case, you are thinking to do. 1.5 ventricular repair. That is a Glen and leave the uh, Glen, leave the anti anti-grade flow will be there, IVC, and close the AST. So now you are staging it. You are staging it, you are closing the AST, and then probably you can consider Glen also. 
because you are not getting the hemodynamics because properly. You are not Child cannot the live with the saturation of lesser than 85 percent control in a normal ABV concordance with uh, borderline RV. So, I am going to agree the steps which are done in this particular case. Probably your RA disc is pulling and the defect is getting opened, the superior defect close to the SCC. Even though you are not demonstrating properly by yeah. the echocardiogram, your contrast indirectly is suggesting that. I, 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 actually, one more thing I will show. Show the, show the child's face close by. He has gone into a deep sleep and he is snoring a lot. You can see the RA mean pressure flinging up and down. Show the RA mean pressure now, bigger. RA mean bigger. See the, see the amount of respiratory uh, compromise. The child is uh, now, uh, uh, like show the, see the, the, the amount of snoring and all, the, because of the sedation. Now that, that is uh, also possibly not allowing the saturations to significantly improve. I agree with you, Nageshwar. I will wait for another uh, half an hour here. I will look at what is the saturation and then take a decision about whether to release or not if the patient is fully heparinized. I am losing the audio. No, the questions are to evaluate for the other no, shunts the from the floor. Yeah, I told uh, actually no. you must have evaluated yeah, or probably we need to evaluate. Yeah, that uh, probably they will consider yeah, the other that at the level of uh, yeah, other shunts at the level RA of LA. like a PA, PAVM. RA Contrast is going from RA to LA. Yeah. In fact, if you remember, no, no, Sushil, I, I went in through another uh, inferior fenestration. From RA to LA. So it has to be intratrial communication. Yes. So no other communication. And also he is giving sheath injection. I, I and also he is giving sheath injection. Yeah. I, another yeah. thing is, I, I, I went in through so an inferior perforation and I had to stretched the 12 millimeter balloon. Everybody is suggesting to do transesophageal Yeah, we will, uh, we will get it uh, done because the time is running, running out. What I will stay here. Probably on the next opportunity what when we all meet, I will, I will explain to you what happened. What about giving in thought of intubating for a time being so that that respiratory variation will come down and that will give more confidence in decision making, sir? It will give more confidence in decision making, sir. The, 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 uh, uh, the basically what we, what we need to now look at is um, whether, uh, how many more additional fenestrations are there and how far away from my device are they? Obviously, if there are, if there are devices that are in the circumference of the atrial septum which is not getting closed by this particular device, this is a 14 mm device, right? 14 mm device, what is the LA disc? 26. 26, yeah. 26 or 28? 26. Will be 26. 26. So maybe, yeah. 26. Maybe, yeah, 26, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 25 PFO device or a 30 PFO device may be able to close far better than this particular device because this device, uh, RA disc is smaller. So, th I mean, as uh, Nageshwar pointed out, the flow is from RA to LA and we need to have a little larger RA disc. I am, uh, I am, uh, I am going to now possibly look at uh, the anatomy much more closely. Leave the device for some time and see what is the saturations. And I will be thinking about changing, yeah, changing into, into a, either a cribriform or a PFO device, which will, will have something like around 25 to 30 millimeter disc on the RA side and see what is the, what is the impact on the saturations. RA pressure is not significantly increasing. RV seems to be adequate. So our next plan will be to probably change the device into a, uh, a device which has got RA disc being larger. Either a, yeah, either a, a probably a cribriform device or a PFO device. Yes, sir. I think only when we achieve complete occlusion yes, of the ASD will the purpose of the procedure be accomplished. So I think that's a way to go. Exactly. So exactly. Exactly. If if there is if there is an incomplete closure and the saturation continues to be low with the persistent intraatrial communications, it is not worth it. Yes, sir. So uh, I will case, I will yeah, yes, I will I will work for uh, case, completing the closure. I have to make some more uh, um, uh, changes in the type of devices. Yes, sir. Great case, sir. Lot of learning. Nice hemodynamics, sir.
Thank you a very much. new way to approach uh, this borderline RV cases and uh, to be done very systematically with all the hemodynamics and everything, having proven all that, then going ahead is the right way. Absolutely. Thank you very much yeah. for this, sir. Thanks a lot, and uh, we will uh, we will we will keep you posted what is happening. Sure, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I would like to I would like to know from the chairpersons. Uh, would you like to hear that live in the box, or would you like to have more discussions till one o'clock? We have finished our cases. Uh, did the there is uh, a presentations here. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have any pending uh, presentation so, so, as of so now. We can continue. I think. Pending, uh, presentation as of now. We can continue. I think. Yeah. Okay, so then uh, shall we go ahead with the live in the box uh, presentation now? Give, give me a minute and I will be there. Not this, is, this is R A R A pressure. Now yeah. he has removed that. Uh, yeah. What Pramod has done is he has put in a 25 millimeter cribriform device. Yeah. Uh, now uh, his saturation is right now around 92 percent on the pulse oximeter. In show that, show that, show that. Yes, we can see that okay, 93 now, percent. Yes. Uh, he's, uh, yes, he is. We can see that 93 percent. 92, 93. And now let us uh, let us now have a look at the contrast echo about how much of right to left shunt is currently there, and how the device looks on the uh, fluoroscopy, on the I mean sorry on the echocardiography. Yeah. So uh, this is a what he has done is a 25 millimeter cribriform uh, AST device. Show in LAO projection the cribriform device. LAO. Full full LAO. Keep on doing LAO. Do an LAO. Yeah. Yeah. Make make this picture bigger. I don't know what they are seeing now. That yeah, picture we can has see gone that. blank. Yeah, we can see that. Yeah. Yeah, are you able to see the screen? Okay. So now get me some contrast here. Uh, no, uh, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm giving, I'm giving iodinated contrast. Uh, I'll just show the orientation of this uh, RA disc. Can you go cranial now? Give it, give the contrast quick. Go cranial. Yeah, 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 good. Now, yeah, it is okay. Nicely now complete obliteration, I think it is. Yeah, show me on. Let me see no, the but, echo. but this is contrast, Bhavesh. So I will try to show the echo now. We are yeah, now going yeah. to give contrast some, echo some cardiography. Contrast is going. Uh, come to AP. Yeah. Come to AP. Uh, make the echo big. Echo big. Okay. Yes, we can see that. Now. Yes, we can see that. Yeah, very minute amount of contrast is going, I think. It is, it is there, still but there. It is significantly the only thing is the before. saturation has slightly. Yeah. Now, uh, show this uh, hemodynamics there. Now, this is the RA mean pressure with a saturation of around 93 percent, and uh, RA A waves are around 10 millimeters. RA mean is around 7 millimeters. Probably, Bhavesh, I will wait for another half an hour more. Yes, I, I can. I will, uh, I will uh, stay Dr. here Shiva. and yeah. uh, probably we will, we will try to see what is. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Shiva. Thank, thank you for you the nice much, demonstration. Yeah. Thank you, Shiva. So, we are yeah, concluding so this much. session right now. Yeah, Sushil was about yeah. to tell something. No, actually, Neeraj is waiting for a webinar, but I don't think so we will be able to do that because it is almost one now. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, uh, thank you so I, much, I thank, thank each you. one of you, Dr. Bhavesh, Jai Ranganath, uh, Nageshwar, for, uh, uh, for I mean all of you, Sushil, uh, Prashant, each one of you for having made this session so lively and uh, so interactive and uh, it, was, uh, it was a pleasure. I wish for a day when we meet all of us, uh, all so in much, person. Thank you very much, sir. It was a great case. I, I, also want to thank, uh, I also want to thank all my entire hospital for the support. Here with me is Alka and the team of people who are all working today. 
and uh, and each one of them uh, were, were 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 significantly supportive and uh, it's a, it's a nice opportunity to to hear all of you friends uh, even at a distance to to hear your voice and re and uh, answer back you it's it's always a pleasure yeah. thank you thank you dr shiv echo big thank you thank sir you. thank you dr yep thank you sir thank you